YouTube! Leo Shang here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing channel. And the lady with the dog just took a look over here. She probably thinks I'm crazy. <laughs> Anyways, today is July 28th, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 117 of this year. And this morning, as I was going through my tackle box, I kind of saw a lot of the Aero Tackle Micro Finesse uh, B-Vibe just laying around the house, right? I got a pack right here with me. It was about time for me to actually come out here and do a video on this lure again. If you guys watch everything here on the YouTube channel, you know that I have reviewed this lure before. If you haven't checked that video, you are lacking. I'm gonna link it above. So I decided to choose a very diverse ecosystem today. Um, I got a pond over here. I got a creek right behind me. There's a reservoir here at the back. And the main objective of the day, I'm just going to tie this on with the Aero Tackle, the tungsten jigs, right? Ultralight setup and see what we can pull. Now, of course, I would be delighted to catch multiple species of fish in this fishing session, right? Hey, you know, this is one of those days, man, that you use something new. I have never used the B-Vibe over here, right? You may just catch something great. So stay tuned. <laughs> Let me get, yo, man, the lady with the dog is still looking here, though. Let me get my stuff set up <laughs> and let's go catch some fish. All right, first things first, make sure that your jig is tied on good. And then you just get one of these, these micro soft plastics. Make sure you stick it through the head. Oh, yeah, all oh, right. Just like that, make sure you stick it all the way in so that your balls, your little ball is in it. I think I see my first target of the day. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, right there. The Litobates Cates Beanus, aka the American Bullfrog. I don't think that one wants to feed. Oh, <laughs> all right. Or jokes aside, let's go to the creek and give a few casts <laughs> and see which species of fish are actually around the area. Oh, bro, did someone just leave a basketball over here? My man, don't they know EPF is a baller, my man? Bro! Oh boy. Oh, did you see that? That's why EPF is a fisherman. You see, you see that, bro? It's like dude perfect, bro. See, even the ball knows to take me to the fishing rod, man. That's why I'm an angler and not a basketball player. I'm gonna leave the ball over here. Last time I played basketball was like when I was 16. Now I'm 30, it's been 14 years, bro. All right, let's give this spot a go. You just never know. Come on, bring me a big one. Oh, fish on first cast, unbelievable. Actually, not quite unbelievable, but I'm actually surprised that some fish was able to catch my B-Vi because I'm using a size four hook instead of a six today. <laughs> first species of the day on the first cast, son. A very aggressive green sunfish, the Lepomycianellus, which is not invasive in the state of Pennsylvania. The Lepomycianellus is pretty notorious for having a big mouth, so I'm not that surprised that it was able to get the B vibe like that. You guys saw it just now, man. That, that dude choked. Okay, maybe he didn't choke on it, but he really wanted that little B vibe, huh, little fella? You really wanted it, huh? Oh, what are you doing playing that here for YouTube, huh? You think people are gonna fall for it? You weren't even out of the water for this long. This fish, man, wanna give EPF a bad reputation, huh? He's gotta go back right where he belongs. Uh, maybe I'm gonna just throw him at the, at the more uh, deep pool over here so he can go back, all right? Here, there you go, buddy. Yeah, now, now he's much happier. Trying to play dad here for the viewers, huh? Mistreating fish, huh? Go! Oh no, I hit the three. Down. 
Very nice. Oh, fish shot. I hit the tree and got another fish. Yeah, actually, it's always pinfish, huh? This is another green sunfish. I put a size four expecting that maybe, just maybe, I would hit jackpot with a nice large mouth bass to begin the day. But boy, these little green sunfish are aggressive. They're really on the B vibe, huh? Well, I already got the species for today, so you can go back and please tell your cousins to show up. There's one. That's not a green sunfish. I think that's a bass. That is not a green sunfish, son. That's a bass. <laughs> Monotony is bad. That's why we need more species. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a bass down there. Sometimes you just have so many of one particular species, right? Within a watershed that you kind of have to, uh, you know, go through them for the other species to bite. So here's species number two of the day. I'll bait a small one. At least we know that there is at least one bass down there. Oh yeah, little fella can go back to where you belong. Second species of the day. Green sunfish after green sunfish. A little large mild bass, the Micropter salmoides decides to show up. Usually I give a spot folks 20 to 30 minutes. And the reason is just as I have stated, Sometimes you catch your stuff down there and because your lure is small, right? The green sunfish will get to it right away But that doesn't necessarily mean that the only species down there is the green sunfish You really have to cool the population, right? In order to get to the other species I may give a few more casts over here or I may move spots We will see what happens There's one. Ooh, whoa, wait, is that a green sunfish? Oh, wait, what is that? Is that a bass? Dude, this one's weird. Oh, it's a little bass. Little bass, second one of the day. Right on the side of the, oh, he splashed me with some water too. Thank you, that was refreshing, buddy. I appreciate it, okay? That was, uh, <laughs> it's hot today. Yeah, no, I understand. Uh, I, I'm hot out here, okay? Second large amount of the day. I think this is about it for the spot. I've been getting green sunfish after green sunfish. It's time to make a move. Ladies and gentlemen, every time I come fishing here, this is the type of view that I enjoy. Check it out. You can't see, you can see a single soul around here. Not one human being, right? And this is exactly how I like to do it. I like to go to places that not a lot of people usually go to. Anyways, let's go to the Spillway, which is going to be our second spot of today. Hey, how's it going, man? How's the fishing going? Good? Oh, yeah? Oh, wow. Oh, really? Wow, I was going to say, scratch the human beings, I found one. <laughs> I didn't think I'd meet you here today. No, I just started watching your video. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you don't mind if I give a few, give a few no, casts over I here? I just got here. Okay. I, I actually live, like, not too far from here, and, like, when I started watching your video... Oh, yeah. I appreciate it, man. It's a pretty nice spot here. Hey, I, I hope you catch some, all right? Yeah. So, what are some of your tips? Well, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, I shouldn't bother you. No, 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 don't worry about it, dude. Uh, I am filming, but don't worry about it. Um, I mean, with the cast master over here, yeah. definitely cast towards the center and towards the spillway. spillway. Yeah, I think a slow retrieve will work just fine. Yeah, I actually saw your video about the you cast can... master. I was like, I was surprised. I was surprised to hear you say that. I was like, cast master is my like, go-to. Oh, really? Yeah. It's oh, awesome. I see. Yeah, this was actually, I filmed the video here. Yeah. It was my first time ever. Yeah, really, like using the cast master that seriously, and I landed a bunch, yeah. All right, let's give a cast all the way into the spillway. There we have it. I'm gonna let it sink all the way down, because I like it deep, son. I like it deep. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I got something here. 
Oh, wait. Hey, that's a crappie. Oh, yeah, boy. And that's a nice crappie, too. Because this, my friends, is not the black crappie, but it is actually the white crappie, the Pomoxis annularis. So check it out, huh? The markings on this crappie is a little bit different than the black crappie. It has the vertical bars over here, as you guys can see, instead of the speckle marks. And the body is more elongated than it is deep, right? That's beautiful. This is actually one of the rare species around the area. So third one of the day. And sorry, brother, I just wanted to film the segment. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, peeps. Eurotaco, B-Vibe catching all the different species out here we got ourselves here a little white crappie just gotta do a release right over there oh look at that huh? fish is still right over here you guys see it it's a little bit confused not sure where he is but he was went back right over there quick enough oh he went under the rock for structure right now you see that i mean for cover right there's one what we got here? Yikes, it's a bluegill. I'll bait just uh, a regular bluegill. It's a new species for today. <laughs> you rip the tail of the B5 too. Oh man. But as you guys can see, even with a size four hook, huh? It was hooked on the top of the mouth. So this fella actually really wanted it. Ooh, easy now. The multi-species fishing is definitely not going that bad today. I mean, I know for a fact that the Eurotaco B-Vibe works. <laughs> so, you know, it's not like I expected to come out here, right? And not catch anything, get skunked. Check that out. Huh? That bluegill is right over there. Went back to the deep area. Four species and going strong. It's interesting how the world is such a small place, right, folks? I just met a subscriber over here, Steve. Super nice guy, you know, talked to him for a little bit. He just laughed <laughs> and it was just so funny. I mean, it happens to me pretty often out here in the Philadelphia area, but uh, I just never get used to it. I always appreciate, you know, folks, your love and support. All right, let's catch some more fish. That's a fish. That's 100% a fish. Oh yeah, little bass. Little bass took it totally by surprise. Tiny one, but the B vibe is still working great out here. Check that out, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we have it. Okay, let me release it over here for you guys to see. Boom, there he goes. Oh, there's one. I was starting to get disappointed that I landed only one crappie today. Oh, wait a moment. It's not a crappie. Whoa. What do we got ourselves here? This is not just a green sunfish. This is, this is one of those different breeds, you know? This is a pumpkin seed green sunfish hybrid. Man, we have been seeing this quite often recently on the YouTube channel, huh? I thought for sure it was going to be a crappie and then this little beauty decides to show up. Let me see if I can release him nicely over here. Ay, 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 this fish, man, whole day. I've been trying to catch a black crappie now here at this particular spot and the black crappie did not show up yet. So I'm just wondering, <laughs> will I be able to actually uh, add that species in this video? There's one, there's one. Oh my goodness, that's a nice fish. This is the best fish of the day. Dude, it bit all the way in the spillway. What is this? Holy cow, dude. Ooh, nice bass, nice bass. Ooh, bro, I'm using four pound test, bro. I'm terrified right now. 
Bro, I'm terrified right now. I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness, dude. It run, oh my goodness, it run into the stone. There's nothing I could have done with it. Is the fish still on? The fish is still on, dude. Oh my goodness. Is the fish still on? There's nothing I could have done. Four pound test line. If the fish is still on, I don't think the fish is still on. Oh, dude, holy cow, man. Wow, bro, this, this, this was intense. Wow. I mean, it wasn't a big, big bass. Maybe three pounder, you know, but three, three and a half. Dang, bro. Four pound, I have to come back here. <sighs> I have to come back here with a bigger rod. Oh my goodness, dude. The things that we do for this fish is no joke. The fish is still on there. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, oh, oh, oh. What the heck did this fish do? Oh, well, that was that. Dang, I tried. Can't say that I didn't try. The fish went under two rocks. And I guess there's a passage down there. It went to the other side of the rock. It's all right, you know, we didn't miss much. Three, three and a half pounder. I kind of saw the fish come up. I'll come back here one day with a heavier rod, you know. Dude, can't say that the Euro Tackle B5 does not catch monsters, man. Dang, dude, I cast right all the way into that spillway, man. Ooh, man, one little jig. I just I couldn't control the fish. Dang it, man, four pound test. <sighs> you guys know that EPF does not sugarcoat it on this YouTube channel. When I'm happy, I'm happy. I started the video today happy, as you guys saw. When I'm sad, I'm sad. And when I'm angry, I'm angry. I'm a little bit mad and a little bit sad right now. Sad because that was a decent fish for my area. Three, three and a half pounds, large mouth bass. Uh, I even saw the tail of the fish, you know, so I made sure, right? It was, a, it was a decent fish. I'm a little bit sad that I lost it, even though it wasn't like a new species or something for my life list. But more than that, I'm just mad, man. I'm mad and frustrated at myself because I underestimated the environment, right? When I was playing the fish and shooting the video, one of the main reasons why I didn't even try to turn the fish or do anything on the four pound test is because I have fished this place so many times before, right? I fish, I fished the spillway like tons of time. Like I've been fishing here for four years, this little spillway, right? And I never knew that there was an underwater rock passage that could get me snagged, right? I just assumed that there were there was no snags anywhere because I know the structure here so well, or or I thought so, that man the fish is one right into it and I lost it. I, I can't believe it, man. I'm I'm pissed. Not at the fish. I'm pissed for my at myself, you know, for taking it for granted, man. I I should have turned that fish. I had no idea. But now well, you know what? Next time when I come here. I'll come with a bigger rod, you know, or, or who knows, maybe I'll come back with my ultra large. <sighs> and one day I'm going to catch the fish again. Mark my words in this video. One day I'm going to catch the fish again. Anyways, <laughs> this is it for this video. Euro Tackle B Vibe <sighs> works. We caught so many different, I'm sorry, I'm just frustrated. We caught so many different species of fish in this video, right? So overall, it was definitely not a bad day. If you guys have never tried the, the micro finesse, uh, B Vibe, definitely go give it a try. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video. You guys know that I really, really vouch for the Euro Tackle products, right? Anyways, it is about time for me to uh, head over to my sister's restaurant. I'm gonna be working there tonight. So my time for catching fish is over for today. <sighs> I'm still so frustrated. Oh, anyways, folks, thank you very much for watching this video. Tight lines, I'll see you all next time. Mark my words, man. I'm gonna catch it. What? You just wait. The revenge of the ages.
decision is going to happen in the future. Oh, it's a bass. It's a bass. You got it. I got it. Big bass. Big bass. Big bass. Red wigglers, not only good for sunfish. Big bass. Big bass.